welcome to your What day is it? What, what is it? April 12th to 18th reading. Oh my God. Uh, all right. Let's get started. Let's see what's up for the week ahead. Let's see what's crack a lacking. Some flyer cards. All right, Cancer, this feels good. Let's see what's going on here. Oh. Move my crystal here. My goodness. Honestly, it's kind of crazy because everything looks amazing. Like you have all these amazing cards coming up. And um oh, this shirt is driving me nuts. Um Yeah, you have all these amazing cards coming up. And then right in the middle, we've got the tower. Um, I just don't think it's going to be whatever this tower moment or tower energy is. I really don't think it's going to be earth shattering and tower like because everything around it is really, really good. So um, what I do feel, though, um, let's actually start with this tower. Right underneath, we have the Ten of Wands. So, and I mean, you can tell with this card. Uh, you can see there's a guy. He's really working hard to move those wands. So, um, I just feel like this is a bit of a warning for you to stop taking on too much responsibility and stop taking on other people's shit. This can be in so many ways. This could be um, you being that person that's always listening to other people's problems and you taking on that energy and you carrying that worry with you all the time. This could also be um, maybe at work, people are always leaning on you to help them do their stuff. Or maybe you are just one of those people that take stuff on so you can do it yourself and get it done right. Um, but I feel like you are literally compensating for other people's bullshit. And that's got to stop. With that tower coming up so close by, I really feel like the universe is going to teach you a lesson if you don't stop that. So you need to let go a bit. You can't do everything yourself and you can't keep justifying helping other people. I don't think you help other people. I think you enable them and you come from a good place. Enabling is rarely something that comes from a bad place. But uh, yeah, you got to let people deal with their own shit. But other than that, oh my gosh. What good cards you have. We've got like the Ten of Cups, like, oh, the Ace of Pentacles. Just everything is so amazing. So I really feel like other than that, everything else this week is going to be going really well. Like I said, the Wheel of Fortune is there. The Sun is there. The Ace of Pentacles. I feel like there is an opportunity for money coming your way. Um, if you've been thinking about a new position or thinking about starting a new venture, definitely would say this is definitely a good time to get on that. Um, what else we got here? God, there's just so much. Your love life even, oh my God. Like right next to each other, we have the 10 of cups and the two of cups. So there's peace, love, harmony, and like a really good foundation being built. Um, 
when it comes to your love life though, don't freak out if it's taking longer than you would like because maybe you're a little impatient. Um, there is a good foundation being built. So those like good things take time. Um, like honestly, you, I'm a little jealous of your cards because like you've also got the world card, which is a beautiful card. Um, yes. And like your flyer cards, just them by themselves are saying that, Hey, you might be a little bored right now. You might be looking for a new challenge and there is a new opportunity for money, a raise, uh, some increase in pay coming your way. Um, this could also be like a side project maybe you've been wanting to do and you've been putting it off. I mean, oh my gosh. And then the sun card right next to it. It's just amazing. And here's the thing too. I'll show you. Just looking at these cards together is so pretty. I mean, nothing scary, nothing cryptic. Um... The High Priestess is also coming up, which is telling me that I think you've already learned your lesson that you know you can't go to other people and expect them to help you make decisions about yourself. Like uh, you're always, I feel like there are times you're always looking for other people's opinion. Like, what should I do? What do you think? Oh my God. And I think you've finally gotten to the point where you're like, you know what? This is what I want. I'm going to go for it and fuck what everybody else thinks. If you're not there yet, you're being guided to embrace that energy because that's what you need right now. You are on, honestly, you are on such a good ride right now. I really truly feel that. I feel new beginnings and there's a lot of, we've got how many here? One, two, three, four, five, six. We've got six major arcana cards coming up. So this is really telling me that you are stepping into a, not only a new cycle, but this is part of your soul journey and you are exactly where you're supposed to be right now. Um, I mean, there's just, it's all so good. It's all so good. There's opportunity. There's love. And, um, I feel like the only bad thing about this is there is so much opportunity and you have so many choices that sometimes you get overwhelmed with choices. So I just, honestly, you're, like I said, you're moving into a time where, um, there's lots of new opportunity. There's lots of, uh, just good energy. And like, it's like you're flowing with the universe. Like you're finally not stressing over stuff and you're like, you know what? I trust that this is going to be okay. I trust that, um, this is going to be taken care of. And it is, it, 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 everything is just God, cancer. You got the best reading this week for sure. Oh, yeah. Opportunity for money, opportunity, opportunity. And the interesting thing too is, okay, so we've got the judgment card too. So I feel like this tower card, I don't think it's as much of, of a tower moment as a judgment moment, which these two are very similar. Um, but I feel like the judgment is basically like a wake up call from the universe. And I feel like you've had that wake up call. And with the tower coming up, it's like you're just ready to let that old energy burn. You're ready to let that old life go and you're ready to embrace the new life. So with the tower, there's actually a tower on fire and it's crumbling to the ground. It's like the collapse of an old regime, the collapse of old energy, making room for new energy and new adventures. So really cancer, it's going to be a good week. So don't second guess yourself, move forward with new projects and just bathe in that new energy and um, be good, be safe, and I will see you next week. So bye for now, Cancer.